big brother said a voidling will come and eat my shoes if I don't do his chores. I don't want a voidling to eat my shoes. Our parents will be busy praying all day. We can stay out and play as long as we like. He blanks you. Marvelous magic right at your fingertips. Never saw you before, Lizard. Welcome to Arx. Care to see a trick? The merchant snaps his fingers, and a small flame emerges from his forefinger. He blows it out as he would a candle, and smoke wafts forth. Well, it's not a very dramatic stunt, but kids like it, and doesn't freak out their parents. But I presume you're after something a little more sensational, no? Find everything you wanted? My stuff will get you started, at least. Merchant Ros and his pals, their stock's exceptional. You might want to check his place out once that wedding's over and done. The elf raises her head and peers down her nose at you. This is a place for scholarly pursuits. You do not look the scholarly sort. She sniffs loudly. I don't expect a great intellect to offer much welcome at all. But I respect your point. While most residents of Arcs lunge for each other's kneecaps, I see you seek a better way. She nods silently. Most marvelous magic right at your feet. We are done here. The elves suffer, but the elves still stand. You have not seen the end of us. The mother stands tall. The war of the races approaches. The elves shall stand. You shall not see the end of us. Edward was here. It had heartened him to see true faith in action. But instead, he's out in the hellhole that is driftwood, protecting the unholy. It just isn't. I pledge my heart, oh, please return. I pledge my heart, oh, Lucian, please return. Hello, little doggy. Delightful snack you make. I pledge my soul. I, pledge my I blame Damien for this. Lucian never should have taken him in. Lucian would have rid us of this void woken scourge in a day as easily as he slew the demon of lies. wouldn't want a war with the ancient empire. He'd want us to concentrate on the void walking threat. Oh, I pledge my heart, oh please Lucian, return. please return. Oh, these fools think of Lucian as some kind of savior. 
I want to know why he sacrifices my homeland. I pledge my heart to Russia. Mishan would weep if he saw how his sacrifice was in vain. Maybe we don't deserve salvation. I came all this way to Arx to worship Lucian, and now I find that his own order have forgotten his teachings. This isn't right. Lucian. He doomed us all when he adopted the baby Damien. I pledge my life. I wonder what I would have done in his place. The scribe scowls at you and turns back to his writing. Do you mind? I'm trying to write about Xantedza, the god of mirth and laughter, and you're blocking my damn light. For your own protection, please don't distract me from my duty. I'm on protection detail for the Lord Ahu. I can't talk to you. Ensure the Lord's quarters are protected. I wonder if I am. The scribe glances at you from her manuscript. I'm trying to write about Zol Stissa, the graceful warrior. Please, no more distractions. The scribe doesn't notice you at first. She remains utterly focused on her writing. Finally, she glances up. I'm writing about Amadia, the mother of all magic. Truly fascinating. I doubt it. There's no one left who is free of sin. Take the path of blood, pilgrim. If you're pure of heart and soul, you might do well, unlike the others. I wonder, shall we see success on the path of blood today? I doubt it. There's no one left who is free of sin. Shall you take the path of blood? I have little hope for success this year. Lucian's blessing, stranger. What? No. No, that is impossible. The Lord Ahu put his remains to rest, and told us that no one shall lay eyes on the divine again until he returns to us in all his glory. <laughs> 